Making Your Point in the Digital World, an Exploration of Digital Presentations. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we'll dive into a fascinating aspect of public speaking and presentations, digital presentations. We're going to understand what they are and why they're so important in today's tech-savvy world. Let's start from the basics. A digital presentation is a collection of slides, images, text, audio, video, and interactive elements that are presented using technology. You've probably seen or made one using tools like PowerPoint, Google Slides, or Keynote. Now, how does a digital presentation differ from a traditional one? Traditional presentations usually involve a speaker delivering information with the help of printed visuals or without any visual aids. In contrast, digital presentations allow the presenter to incorporate various media elements, making the information more engaging and easier to comprehend. So, why are we even talking about digital presentations? Well, in this digital era, Presentations have gone beyond the conventional conference room or classroom. With more people using technology for communication, digital presentations have become a critical tool to engage, educate, and persuade audiences, regardless of geographical boundaries. They allow us to present complex information in an easy-to-understand manner, thanks to multimedia elements. In addition, digital presentations can be shared online, thereby reaching a wider audience. They can also be replayed and revisited, allowing for a more personalized learning experience. What's the main aim of a digital presentation? Well, similar to traditional presentations, the goal of a digital presentation is to communicate an idea, share information, or persuade the audience. However, Digital presentations add a layer of versatility, engaging the audience in a more interactive way. For instance, digital presentations can be used in 1. Education. They can enhance learning by presenting complex information in a visually appealing and easy-to-understand format. 2. Business. They can explain business strategies, share project updates, or pitch to potential investors. 3. Marketing. They can promote products or services, provide product demos, or share customer testimonials. Remember, the effectiveness of a digital presentation depends not just on the content, but also on the design, the use of multimedia, and how well it's delivered. And that's it for today, folks. We've just learned about the definition and purpose of digital presentations. As we continue our journey through the world of public speaking and presentations, we'll discover more about creating and delivering compelling digital presentations. Remember, a well-crafted digital presentation is a powerful tool in your communication arsenal. So, keep practicing, keep exploring, and keep learning. Until next time, happy presenting.